Tsar bomb, the ultimate display of nuclear power. They called it Ivan, but the world would remember it as humanity's most terrifying demonstration of raw destructive power. October 30th, 1961, Novaya Zemlya, Soviet Arctic. A lone 295 bomber releases its payload over the frozen wasteland, then banks hard, racing against physics itself. The crew has exactly 188 seconds to reach minimum safe distance, if such a thing even exists for what's about to unfold. The Soviet Union had built the ultimate psychological weapon, a 50 megaton hydrogen bomb, originally designed for 100 megatons but scaled back when scientists realized it might crack the Earth's crust. At 8,000 pounds and 26 feet long, Tsar Bomba wasn't just a weapon, it was a statement written in thermonuclear fire. The detonation created a fireball five miles wide, visible from 600 miles away. The mushroom cloud punched through the stratosphere, reaching 42 miles high, seven times Mount Everest's height. The shock waves circled the globe three times. Windows shattered in Finland, 500 miles distant. The flash was so intense it caused third-degree burns at 60 miles range, despite heavy cloud cover. But here's the strategic paradox that changed everything. Tsar Bomba was simultaneously the most powerful weapon ever detonated and completely militarily useless. Too massive for any practical delivery system, too destructive for tactical deployment, it existed purely as a demonstration of Soviet nuclear capability during the height of the Cold War. The bomber crew that delivered it, they painted their aircraft white to reflect the thermal radiation, a precaution that probably saved their lives as they barely escaped the blast zone. Tsar Bomba proved that in the nuclear age, the most powerful weapon might be the one you never intend to use, but make damn sure your enemies know you have it.